All right, guys, uh, shame and guilt. I want to talk to you about the physical aspects um, of shame and guilt. I'm not sure if you've ever really thought of it like that, because I certainly hadn't, okay? When we hear shame and guilt, we think about the things that go on inside of our head, which, you know, can often cause a lot of harm and hurt for people. What, what I want to share with you is my personal experience with how when I identified how shame and guilt was having a massive physical um, impact on my life. Now, as you could imagine, okay, 10 years ago when I just entered drug and alcohol recovery, okay, I'm talking about life and life's terms, a brand new life, okay. Part of my rehabilitation process was going out and visiting family every two weeks or something. Now, actually, it's not really part of the rehabilitation process. That's more part of a life, a human being thing. You know, we want to reconnect with the people that we've hurt and lost. Um, but look, what would happen is I'd head out west on the train, for example, and I'd almost go into this coma um, of tiredness. I'd start to yawn. I feel very lethargic. Um, unmotivated and I'd get to my family's place and I wasn't able to be present for years actually okay and even one occasion my mum said to me Danny she said why do you always come here and you want to sleep okay and that brought up a whole another level of shame and guilt for me but a little story okay and you might be able to relate and understand why uh, shame and guilt has had such a massive impact for me imagine this right Christmas lunch, right? Sitting around the table with, let's say, 15 family members, maybe a couple of neighbors, okay? Now, Danny has hurt every single one of those people, okay? Now, they all have a bit of love, I'm sure some resentment, but care and they want Danny to be better. But imagine sitting at that table, and I'm not trying to deflect the blame here, it was me who caused that stuff, but imagine the impact that can have on a human being, okay? And imagine why I wanted to go to sleep every time I came around to visit the family. So guys, look, shame and guilt has, and the, my point is, on my way home from those visits, I used to wake up like a newborn baby. Hey, like that, but... Um, and I felt so bad about that stuff, but it wasn't until I started to identify how shame and guilt had such an impact on my physical um, life that I could start to deal with that stuff a little bit better the next time it was coming around. And just acknowledging that stuff empowered me to actually deal with it a little bit better. So guys, shame and guilt, powerful thing. I'd love to hear your experience. Have you ever experienced shame and guilt in the powerful, um, tired aspect like that? I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. And until next time, have a wonderful day.